Hello everyone and welcome you back to my channel where the news confessed on reality letters just the headlines. River State Assembly crisis has escalated as pro-governor Fubara faction and pro wiki faction hold separate sitting. Moving on after this we have Dr. Abdullahi Ganduji led National Working Committee of the ruling All Progressive Congress passed a vote of confidence on governors elected on their platform APC assuring them that their interests are well protected by the national leadership. But guys, before I commence fully with this news, I welcome you all to my wonderful channel, Reality Letters Gist, your home of news and politics. I thank you all so much for joining us on today's news. But if today is your first time of watching, kindly subscribe, like, comment, share. But don't forget to turn the notification bell to get notified whenever we drop a video. Because I'm sure you don't want to miss out the trend and latest news happening on social media. To all our amazing subscribers, thank you all so much for joining us. So guys, let's proceed. The River States is currently experiencing political tensions with two factions of the state house of assembly holding separate sitting in the national assembly my people will not be small matter on sunday night the faction led by victor okojombo which is loyal to governor sin fobara invited a new commissioner nominee emmanuel frank fobara to appear before them for screening and confirmation as a member of the state executive council Though the invitation was extended through a letter written by the clerk, Dr. G.M. Gills West. Meanwhile, the faction led by Martin Samaule, lawyer to Minister Yenson Wiki, the Federal Capital Territory Minister, convened a plenary section on that same day. <laughs> so according to the news that has been making around on the internet, the pro-Fubara lawmakers met in a makeshift chamber at the government house in Port Harcourt, while the pro-Wiki lawmakers gathered at the official state assembly quarters on a bar road, also in Port Harcourt. <laughs> so it was noted that it was their first sitting of the pro-Wiki group since the Court of Appeal ruling recognized them as legitimate member of the house. How the Court of Appeal upheld the lawmakers' lawyer to Yens on Wiki as valid members of the House of Representatives last week. The controversy between Governor Simfubara and his predecessor on Yens on Wiki has continued unbattered, throwing the state into political tensions. So now, the pro Wiki reverse assembly lawmakers has given Governor Simfubara seven days to represent 2024 budget. Hey, 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 The reverse state political crisis has deepened as two rivals faction of the House of Assembly led by Mati Samaule and Victor Okonjombo on Monday convened separate section. My people are begging me not tell me where this thing don't happen before because I never see them. <laughs> the Amaule's led faction, which aligned with the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory in Yen issued an ultimatum to Governor Simfubara demanding the representation of the 2024 budget within seven days. <laughs> the court order initially declared the seats of pro wiki lawmakers vacant, but it was later overturned by the appeal court last week recognizing their legitimacy. So the controversy between Governor Sim Fubara and his predecessor Yen Son Wiki has thrown the river state into political tensions. My people, this budget will be said they want me Fubara represent. Fubara had earlier presented the budget to the house lawyer to him when his current chief of staff, Edison Eyi, presided as the speaker. Eyi and other pro Fubara lawmakers passed the budget estimates and the governor signed the bill into law. And as of that time, he stated that the budget was aimed at promoting economic development, inclusive growth, and addressing social economic inequality in the state. But now we be say pro wiki lawmakers. Don Koma, they want me for Bara represents that budget again. My people is the authority for me right now. No, no, why PDP no one can't choke math for what they happen for River State. It can't be like say we can get power past them. They have every right, you know, to intervene in what is going on in River State because now they give those lawmakers mind. I didn't say you no, know, they give them mind. They don't have right to control for Bara to tell for Bara to represent the budget again. He's the Minister of Federal Capital Territory. So I don't see any reason why he's still interfering in the affairs of River State. My people are begging, I would like to know what I think about this matter because he gets as he be. Let me know your thoughts, your contributions, your opinions are in our comment section below. Once again, thank you so much for staying with us. Moving on to the next one. Dr. Abdullahi Ganduje led National Working Committee of the Ruling All Progressive Congress passed a vote of confidence on governors elected on their platform, assuring their interests are well protected by the national leadership. He urged them to continue to make the party proud. He said that the APC leadership will continue to maintain a cordial relationship with them. 
That to just this on Monday in Abuja when the chairman of the Progressive Governors Forum and Imo State Governor Sineto Ho Prozodima paid a visit on the National Working Committee. Can't you just say that there is no doubt that he was happy when he got the information that Progressive Governors Forum are coming. So he thought that it is a blessing to them. They were so happy about it and they have confidence in them. So right now they are going to do everything to ensure that they maintain good relationship with their governors all over the country and they will help protect their interests because those governors are really assisting the party and they are making the party to be proud as an institution. So they are going to try as much as possible to ensure that they maintain good relationship with the governors. So on the part of Hope Uzodema, he assured that APC will win the forthcoming governorship election in those states as well as to retain power in all those states. He said that APC produced them and they are in Abuja for a meeting. And of course, in obedience to the concept of party loyalty, they have to visit the secretary to touch with the leadership of the party, chairman and members of the National Working Committee, and above all. And they also went to Abuja to commiserate with the chairman who also lost his mother-in-law and also showed solidarity with the chairman and managers of the party. So those who are serving them, the national leadership of the party, providing services, they are managing their party day by day and they are looking after the policies of the party. So right now, they are in charge of the administration of the party. And of course, they are a member of APC and critical stakeholders are committed to follow and encourage them as a way of showing support. And that is solidarity. Hope Zodima said that, of course, he is the chairman of the Progressive Governors Forum. And when he speaks, he speaks on behalf of his colleague. He said a party like APC that is in control of 20 states out of 36 and they also have produced a president and a member of the Federal Executive Council is the majority party. And if election is the game of number, that it means majority will win. So on the 20th of this month, that the National Campaign Council will be inaugurated in the state and they are expecting all their members to be in attendance. So he asks that which other party can boast or provide of such assets that politically speaking, they don't need to overflog the horse. That the truth of the matter is that APC has done very well in Nigeria. <laughs> that what is happening currently is a global economic problem. And they are in Nigeria under their own leadership that President Bola Metunubu is also bringing out policies to ensure, given the kind of economy he met, given the kind of situation he saw when he came into power. So now Hope Zodima is saying that President Bola Metunubu has started the treatment. And by the grace of God, that he is very confident that very soon that nigeria will be jubilating about how president bola metinobu has managed to navigate the water hey my people whenever they say I'm... bola metinobu don't stay one year and things is still worst like it's getting worse every day so we don't know when president bola metinobu will navigate the water so we don't know when president bola metinobu will put the, all these things in place because the suffering on the masses are too much so guys i would like to know your thoughts your contributions to opinions are in the comment section. We'd we'll love to hear from you. Once again, thank you so much for staying to us. On this note, we have come to the end of today's segment. Till I come your way next. Stay safe, guys. Bye.